Hello, hello, beautiful people. It's Naomi here. Today, I am continuing the gluten-free cooking. Let's turn everyone's home the best gluten-free restaurant in the town. This is my mission to help you. So, today we are going to make an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. For appetizer, it will be a blackberry uh, barley bruschetta. For main, it will be a cheese-filled aubergine in Mariana sauce. And for dessert, it will be our most favorite chocolate orange hot brownie. Let's start with our popular starter, this Italian super berry and garlic bruschetta. The thing is, it, it contains some kale, crisp, crispy kale, but I forget to buy the crispy kale. Ta-da! Such life, guys. So we need to improvise here. We are going to use rocket salad. It's, it will be nice. Today I'm using this Asda free from brown sliced bread. Okay, the toast is ready. Now I'm going to use this tool. Put them together. You can buy from Asda under five pounds. And then you can crush the garlic with this good tool. See, you crush it and it's coming out the other side. Back. Crush one garlic hair toast and add just a couple of drops of extra virgin cold pressed rapeseed oil or a couple of drops of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Just create a nice paste and put it on your toast. Okay, our toast is ready, the garlic paste is applied. Under the garlic paste, I put some butter, so now let's make our salad. Um, Packet leaves, some oil, tiny bit, just a pinch of sea salt, and half of uh, this lime. There we go. We'll sit together. And now let's apply this on the top of our toast with our garlic and with the blueberries. Our first layer of the today food is ready. If your blueberries are not sweet enough, because this food works very well, then your blueberry, oh sorry, blackberry is very very sweet and dry. If it's not, you can add some natural stevia sweetener to it, just to make a big contrast of the sweet and the salt, <laughs> the salty flavor. Let's make our main. Now I'm going to slice up the eggplants into one centimeter slices and then I'm going to bake them for at least 15-20 minutes until it's tender and I, I can roll up with the cheese filling and as I said I wasn't able to find ricotta I went shops after shops after shops and there wasn't any ricotta anywhere which is quite a bummer because this food is best with ricotta but don't you um, don't you fear my is here <laughs> so I'll let you know uh, I'm going to replace the ricotta with this manchengo cheese from Spain, some Greek feta. I'm going to use uh, parmesan and mozzarella. And I'm going to create a nice cheesy paste so we can actually fill and stuff our aubergines with cheese and organic spinach. I'm trying to use organic <coughs> vegetables and organic things as, uh, as often as I can. But I'm still doing 24 hour intermittent fasting every single day, every single week. So I can get rid of my body, can get rid of the rest of the gunk and the junk. And I'm going to use this organic passata for the Mariana sauce. Let's slice. So all of the eggplants are si sliced up and now I have my helper. Come here. Hello guys. This is Dominic. Ooh. He's helping me today with the baking. Yeah! Oh, let's do it together. You need to put this egg plant like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that what I did now? Yes, please. I wish I washed my hands. Oh, good boy. Please, then one by one. Yes. Let's put some salt over them. Please don't kick the camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Nobody can see us then. Uh oh. Now let's put some extra virgin cold press. Yeah! Oh, yes. Ooh. Yep, looks so cool. Mm -hmm. And we need, we need to 
brush it, okay? Yeah, yeah, so it will be easier to even brush it. Uh -huh. Like that. Nice and even. Okay, let's bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. Now, we're going to make the cheesy paste. Let's put all the cheese together in this food processor and put um, some sea salt. What else? What else? Sea salt and black pepper. Yes! yes. Now we are ready with our um, cheese filling and actually if you take a look it's ready as well nice and hot and I can curl it up so it's amazing it took me 15 minutes to bake it through and then I will chop up the parsley from my garden <laughs> and we're going to use this um, crushing tool to crush up the garlic I will need one onion I will chop up the basil not from my garden. I try to grow basil. I can't. It's always dying. I don't know why. And then we're going to cook this sauce together. Okay? Let's chop, chop, chop. So chop out the onion. I'm not crying at all. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to put some um, bay leaves and caraway seed into the onion I am sauteing at the moment. Oh my god, sauteing, sauteing. Oh. Let me show you. <laughs> so braising basically, see? I'm going to place two nice bay leaves and a caraway seed. That's what I mean. Our onion is almost ready, so when it's ready, I'm going to put some uh, marram in it. I'm going to put the basil and the parsley and two of these tomato. So I'm going to create a nice tomato sauce and also I'm going to use Italian seasoning and this organic color vegetable stock. I'm going to use two of it. Oh, and I almost forgot the garlic. <laughs> And some sweetener, of course. Okay, that's good. The Mariana sauce is cooking, so let's roll up our eggplant. Aubergine is rolled up, sauce is ready, so let's pour the sauce into the aubergine or eggplant. Sorry, sorry, it's eggplant. It's aubergine, but it's eggplant as well. <laughs> Somebody said they don't understand what I am saying, so sorry about that. I try, I try. I am, you know, I'm Hungarian and I came here to Scotland 14 years ago <laughs> and I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, eggplant, sauce, and then the mozzarella cheese and the parmesan cheese. Protect your hands. Ooh, because it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. So let's pour the sauce. Okay, good. Shake it. And be very super careful. And then um, let me put the mozzarella on the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle on the nice mozzarella. So the sauce taste is a tiny bit sweet. It's not really, really salty, it's actually a tiny bit sweet. Sweet and salty, okay? You need to find the, the perfect balance based on your taste buds. But the sweetness taking away the acidic flavor of the, the tomato. So it's going to give you a very, very smooth sauce. You will love it. Manja, manja. And now the Parmesan. Cheese on the top. And now let me bake it for another 15 minutes. Okay, this beauty is ready. <sighs> the smell is amazing and the family is hungry. <laughs> so let's feed them. Enjoy. <sighs> it's time for the dessert. My favorite part is the dessert. 
I have everything ready here. I'm going to start with chocolate and I'm going to use coconut milk. So this uh, dessert will be 100% gluten free, dairy free and added sugar free. Let's create the best dessert ever and it's real free. Yes! <laughs> 160 grams. Let me see. And now we need one deciliter of coconut milk. That's it. Now I'm going to transfer it into this heat proof uh, thingy. And I'm going to cook it over hot water. This is how we are melting the dark cooking chocolate. Now, let's take the fourth uh, egg. Let's beat up the egg. <coughs> we need to separate the whites from the yolks, like that. We need four. And then I'm going to put just a very, very small pinch of salt into the egg white, because it will help with the beat up. This is a secret. This is a cooking secret. I'm using that nice sea salt flake and I'm going to put only that tiny amount, okay? Really tiny amount. That's it. Let's beat. As you see, it's so hard, it's not coming out. This is now perfect. Oh, Whoa! See, it's not coming out. What? It's just perfect. Yes, it's cream! Let's add the other eggs. We need one orange juice and also the orange peel. So first the juice. Also you can use this Valencian orange oil if you want. I prefer real orange. I washed and dried the orange and now I'm going to use the grater. I'm going to grate down the orange peel. Next step is the sweetener and to put everything together. For the sweetener I'm going to use the xylitol. This is an absolutely natural sweetener. You can use it to bake and you can use it exactly as you would use sugar. But this is zero calorie and again it's natural so it's good for you. Uh, never ever use aspartame, sucralose. Sucralose is giving your cut bacteria and then you will experience tummy um, ache and, and digestive issues and then you killing your gut bacteria, your immune system will go so down and you don't want that because we are in the middle of the pandemic and you don't want your gut to decline at all, especially if you have allergies. Oh my goodness, never ever use synthetic crap ever in your life. <laughs> For, for coffee and tea, use the natural stevia. You can buy it, all of this stuff from Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, internet, whatever. You can, you can order it, you can buy it, Holland and Borat, anywhere. Or if you are not from UK, then I'm sure your health shop is offering xylitol and stevia and inulin. They are all good for you. Agave, uh, nectar, everything that is organic and natural is good for you. There are millions of uh, amazing and different and natural sweeteners out there. Forget all of the synthetic crap completely. And then I'm going to use uh, Madagascan vanilla. So you can buy this, uh, it's saying extract, any kind of vanilla extract. So let's put everything together and also my chocolate is ready I'm going to put the oh, the orange peel and the orange in it the uh, the eggs and then when it's all together and ready with the with the um, flour I'm going to transfer them here and then we're going to bake let's start with the gluten-free flour. We need 170 grams. It's ready. Now I am going to stir everything together.
The brownie is ready, hot from the oven. I, I just did the fork test. You push the fork inside and if it's coming out clean, then your brownies are ready. Let's just put them aside to cool it down. Let's try the brownie. Ooh, look at this. Wow, <laughs> the smell is amazing. Mm -hmm. My favorite brown. Oh my god, you will love it. Let me know if you tried the recipe and how do you love it because oh, it's amazing. Now, let me create the avocado chocolate mousse for the top. The avocado mousse is ready and now let's see the entire creation together. Our food is ready! We can feed the family with amazing creations. So turn your own home the best gluten-free restaurant in the town with me. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy this nice food surprise your family <laughs> and see you guys next time. Bye-bye!